This is Linda Sherman, at Linda Sherman. I'm here with Jennifer Wojcik, at Jen Wojcik, W-O-J-C-I-K. Thank you so much for being with us today, Jen. Appreciate it. It's a wonderful opportunity. Since you are an expert on recruiting, particularly in the social media space, I would love to get some advice from you on what not to do when you're looking for a job in that space. Okay, certainly. Um, obviously, as far as if you're out there looking for a job and you're using social media to, uh, you know, further your job search or identify opportunities, you know, you're really going to be want to be careful about what it is that you're putting out into you know the Twitter sphere, into the blogosphere, into you know MySpace, Facebook, those kinds of things. You know, um, a lot of potential employers are starting to really look at those things now. And so you know, if you've got pictures that are less than complimentary on your Facebook page, or you know, if if you're tweeting out you know porn or <laughs> you know those kinds of things, you're going to want to pull those things down at least temporarily. Even if you're writing a blog under a pseudonym that is uh, you know is critical of something critical of the industry, or you know even just something that's less than desirable that an employer would take pause you know if they ran across that type of a blog so you know because even, even though it's even a pseudonym under a pseudonym you You've know heard stories absolutely, where they found it. absolutely you know there there are all kinds of things that you can do you know to go in and find out who's writing these things so you know and Google cache and, and all that stuff so yeah you have to really be, be very careful so if you're a web designer what 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 would you have any particular advice for them maybe about their website or something? Uh, well absolutely web designers you've got to have an online presence you ha it's a must you know you need to have an online por portfolio uh, you've got to have a website I've got to be able to find it you know as a recruiter if I'm looking for a candidate for a position and you know the the position is web design I need to be able to find your online presence so you know you've got to be able to do SEO you've got to be able to uh, make your presence known you know I want to see a resume on the site I want to see again your portfolio I want to see an interactive site I don't want to see a static site if you're a PHP developer I don't want to see a static site if it's written in HTML I'm gonna walk by you know I'm not even gonna stop because there's no point in me taking you presenting you to a client as a PHP expert or a PHP developer and you can't even do your own interactive interactive website. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Wow, that is really good advice. I really appreciate that. Is there anything else that you'd like to say in closing? Um, Let's make sure we tell them your website. Sure. It's uh, www.yougurru.net, Y-O-U-G-U-R-U.net. And um, it's a static site, but I'm not a web developer, so... <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, but uh, yeah, I just I do a lot of specialty recruiting and uh, mostly engineers, semiconductor engineers, you know, on up to IT, web development, etc. So anyway, that's what I do. Terrific. Thank you so much, Jen. I appreciate the uh, I appreciate the interview. That's wonderful. Thank you.